market conditions are pretty much exactly where they left off into the end of last week. This makes sense considering many traders around the globe being off the desks for the Easter holiday. Overall, we've been seeing demand for the U.S. dollar and U.S. data and central bank communications point to a Fed that is looking less dovish than many other central banks out there. At the same time, U.S. equities continue to push record highs in what we can only describe as confounding price action at a time when the ability for central banks to offer much more in the way of investor-friendly policy appears to be quite limited. Investors have grown quite comfortable with the story that inflation has peaked out, but we're not as convinced and believe the pausing of rate hikes and projected move towards rate cuts will only once again usher in that next wave of inflation. And so while we believe the US dollar could continue to find bids, we're less and less convinced the US equity market will be able to manage much more in the way of gains this year. But as always, only time will tell. Key standouts on Monday's calendar come from the Japanese tank and China PMI reads Canada manufacturing PMIs, U.S. ISM manufacturing, U.S. construction spending, and the Bank of Canada business outlook survey. That's all for now.